Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will understand quickly the differences between microkernel and monolithic kernel. This is a very important interview question as well as this is something very fundamental that we all should understand. Simply speaking, there are two types of kernels which are predominant. One is micro and another one is monolithic. But before that, what is an operating system? An operating system is a resource manager that manages all the resources in the system. It will not ask you for more. It will not ask you to cut anything. It will manage. So the operating system is a fantastic resource manager. Now kernel is the core on the operating system. It's like the heart. Kernel is the most paramount stuff as I have already told you. It maintains the proper functioning of the entire system which, which include the process, the files, the hardware and everything on the whole. So it maintains everything. Well, there are two types of kernels which are predominant. There are other types of kernel that we will discuss later. But two types are very predominant. One is micro kernel, another one is monolithic kernel. A micro kernel has the user services and the kernel services implemented in different address space. User services are there, kernel services are there and both of them are in different spaces and user services go to user address space, kernel services go to kernel address space. But in monolithic kernel, the complete OS runs as a single program in the kernel board. There are no separate address spaces available. There is no concept of separate address space for kernels, kernel and user related things. It is going to be one program, it is going to be a single unit that will run in the kernel board. That's the major difference. But the other differences that you must know are listed here and I'm going to talk about it. Let's take monolithic kernel first and then we will compare the fact with the micro kernel. In the monolithic kernel, as I already told you, the user services and kernel services are kept in same address space. It is mono, it is single. But in micro kernel, they are in the separate address space. The monolithic kernel is always larger in size. The micro kernel is smaller in size. Remember. The execution speed is definitely faster when it comes to monolithic, but execution speed is comparatively slower when it comes to micro kernel. The monolithic kernel is really hard to extend because it is confined, it is single, but, but the micro kernel is easily expandable, extendable. You can go ahead and extend it easily. The whole system, if you go with monolithic approach, will crash if one component fails because it is one unit. But when you come to micro, it is not that way. A failure of one particular unit will not affect other units. Very limited lines, fewer lines of codes are needed to be returned for a monolithic kernel. But micro kernel, you need to write a lot of lines of code. The debugging and management are complex when it comes to monolithic kernel, but it's going to be really very easy and straightforward because it is modularized approach. Monolithic OS is easier to design and implement, but micro kernels are really complex because you've got a lot of things there. And examples of monolithic kernel include the unix the linux most common thing that you know examples of the micro kernel include l4 linux mac os 10 symbian all these are the examples i hope this session was very useful to understand the fine differences between monolithic and micro kernel and also understanding what monolithic and what micro kernel is in case you have any questions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer if you like the channel please subscribe thank you